In this video, we're covering how to do every clinch takedown in UFC 4. This list will cover takedowns from every clinch position and every kind of takedown, both wrestling and judo throws. If these tips help you, make sure to press subscribe because we put out tips like this every week. But enough chit chat from me, let's get started. First up is one star wrestling from the single under position. In order to initiate the single under clinch, simply press R1 and jab. From here, the first takedown you have available is called a double leg takedown, and it's performed the same way you do in the stand-up game, by pressing L2 and triangle. You can perform the double leg takedown by pressing L2 and triangle from any clinch position in the game. The next takedown is called an ankle pick. You can perform the ankle pick by pressing R1 and circle from the single under clinch. The next takedown is a BJJ judo toss. It can be performed by standing still and pressing R1 and X. If you push your opponent backwards while you press R1 and X, you get the next takedown on this list, which is called an inside trip. Quick recap, R1 and X while standing still in the single under is a judo throw. R1 and X while pushing the opponent backwards is an inside trip. The last takedown available from the single under clinch is this BJJ trip. In order to do this, you must control your opponent and circle them towards the leg that you want to trip them with. Circle them towards your lead leg and press R1 plus your lead leg button. Circle them towards your rear leg and press R1 plus your rear leg button. And of course, you know, these buttons change according to whether you're in southpaw or orthodox. That's why I'm referring to them in the manner that I am. R1 and X while moving forward still gets you the inside trip nice and easy. The next position to cover is the single under dominant, which looks like this. From here, the controls are yet again very much the same. Moving forward and pressing R1 and X gets you this takedown. However, if you press R1 and X without moving, nothing happens. Moving on to the over under position. In the over under position, you can press R1 and square to pull guard. You can also press R1 and X for a judo throw or R1 in circle for an inside trip. In order to establish the over under position, you need to shoot for a double leg takedown and then bail on it and you'll end up in over under. Or you can slip a punch and press clinch and that will end you up in the over under position. Once you push them up against the cage, you can press R1 and X for this hip toss. Once you take your opponent's back up against the cage, you can press R1 and circle for this takedown. Or R1 and square to backpack, and then X to drag them down. Now, let's cover the more advanced moves with a 5-star wrestler. Make sure your fighter has these moves before you attempt them in a fight. Let's start from the single under dominant. If you press R1 and circle in single under dominant, you'll get this high crotch slam. From over under, there are no 5-star wrestling moves, however, there are some 5-star judo takedowns. The first is this pull guard sweep to mount. In order to do that, you do R1 and triangle. The next 5 star move is the suplex, which is R1 and X. Next up is this trip, which you can pull off by moving forward or toward your lead leg and pressing R1 and circle. For judo against the cage, the only available takedown is R1 and X. Lastly, from backside with a 5-star wrestler, you can perform a suplex by pressing R1 and X while standing still. That does it for today's takedown breakdown. If you want to improve your striking, click the video at the top of your screen. Or maybe you want to see some of our combat sports gaming documentaries. If so, click the playlist at the bottom of your screen.